Welcome to the single stage compressor controller demonstration video. This video is intended to inform you about the built in functionalities of this pre engineered solution developed by Rockwell Automation. It's been designed to leverage your current installed inventory, which in turn can reduce your total cost of ownership. Now, here's our application expert who will provide additional details about our single stage compressor controller. The single stage compressor controller is designed to protect axial and centrifugal compressors from the effects of surge events. It not only does that, but it also provides capacity control, various types of override control, and provides a dynamic surge map that the operations personnel can use to determine where their compressor is currently operating. In this first screen is the logon screen. There are five different users that can log on with different access levels for each one. The uh, user can actually then assign passwords for each of the five different uh, access levels. The process flow diagram that you see here is unique in that as you change the configuration that you've entered into the single stage compressor controller, the graphics automatically change to reflect the configuration that you actually have in the field. So as you make changes or you move to a different particular compressor installation, the graphics will change to match the physical installation in the field. Each of these is uh, set up with a dynamic compressor performance map. This map shows you the actual surge line of the compressor, the control line, operating point tracking, and the current operating point of the compressor itself. As you make the configuration with the compressor, the actual data for this map is dynamically read from the controller and updates on the screen uh, automatically. The margin control, which is the distance between the surge line and where you want the compressor to actually operate, is done here. The margin can be a fixed offset or it can be a percent offset or a combination of the two. Uh, the primary uh, surge control loop is shown here. There's also a secondary anti-surge control loop, which will let you do discharge uh, pressure override or suction pressure control overrides of the primary anti-surge control loop. The primary and secondary uh, capacity control loops can handle uh, suction throttling, inlet guide vanes, variable speed, discharge throttling, and the secondary can also handle brake uh, horsepower overrides of, this, of the uh, capacity control. If we take a look at the way that the configuration is actually entered, we go to the little wrench up here which brings up the maintenance screens. From this particular screen, you can actually do hardware diagnostics. You can enter the parameters in your configuration, the parameters for your interlocks, and your permissives. From here, you can also look at the device operations and settings for each of the individual parameters. If we go to the parameter screen for configuration, we can actually then pick up the individual uh, configuration items and we cycle through the particular items that we need to configure. So as you go through and you pick the compressor information that you'd like to see, you can then refresh and actually see what's in the compressor controller itself. Any of these can be changed and edited, then they can be saved to the non-volatile memory uh, in the uh, HMI downloaded to the controller, a configuration that's already down there can be uploaded from the controller, and then each of the uh, uh, items can be then refreshed and looked at. The interlock configuration um, brings up screens that let you configure various interlocks for the compressor or to uh, enter various types like a multiple surge trip or an operating point trip fault that may occur if it's misconfigured. External trips are brought in and configured here where you have uh, external discretes, alarms, or trip functions that can come in and become part of your interlock screens. The permissives are configured to allow you to configure sets of situations that would um, not allow you to start the compressor or would cause some other actions to take place. These can be configured if you don't need them, you don't have to configure them and they won't be here. The hardware button lets you pull up and, and run diagnostics on the controller hardware itself. You can then come in and look at the status of each of the individual I.O. points. The uh, diagnostics will tell you if you have a particular problem with the hardware. As we come up across the top again, we can come to the alarm page. 
Here you can take a look at the last 128 alarms that have been generated. Each of the alarms is recorded with the time that it occurred and a description of the alarm. This is a circular queue, so after 128, the, the uh, alarms will roll over to the next. This is your warning page where you can bring in various warnings. These can be anything from particular field alarms to configuration errors. They don't necessarily trip you or prevent you from operating, but they do give you warnings that you have other I.O. or other devices that uh, aren't meeting exactly what you want to have operating here. The trend screen that I show here will let you bring up individual trends of different points within the surge controller. These are not intended to be historical trends. They give you about a five minute window. They're very, very useful for tuning um, the PID loops within the controller. The interlock screens will show you if you've got any interlocks that are active. It'll give you the current status of these various interlocks. And then the permissive screen will actually show you permissives that uh, may currently hold you out and it'll show you the status of each of these in the various pages. The question mark up in the corner is the on online help. This will let you pull up various um, descriptions of the icons and things used on the screen that uh, will tell you how to use them, tell you what they're for, and tell you what they're intended to represent. For more information, or to order the single-stage compressor controller, please contact your local Allen Bradley distributor or sales office.